I don't care if it's your last day. Get your shit together. Hi! Uh, food bus, get in the house with Moroccan lamb cutlets. Come on, come on, come on. The test, right? Other street traders. I'm going to do a harissa paste to marinate with the lamb cutlets, but with a few food busker twists. First off, we're going to toast some spices. Teaspoon of cumin seeds, teaspoon of caraway seeds, teaspoon of coriander seeds. And we're just going to toast those off to release the natural oils and the beautiful aroma that comes from them. OK, I've toasted those for about two or three minutes, and I can smell the beautiful oils being released. Absolutely amazing. That's what's going to give a pungent hit into a little blender. So I'm going to do it my style. So I've got some selection of chilies and some sun-dried tomatoes. This is a, a Priscilla chili, and it's got a beautiful, deep fruit flavour. It's going to add so much. Get that guy in. Now, this is a guajillo. I think that's how you say it. Um, and it's got a piney vibe, and it's just... It's got almost like a tea vibe going on. So we're going to get that in. Then I've got some flaked chilies, so just about a teaspoon and a half. And then you want about five bulbs of garlic. OK, right, we've got the workman cracking on over here. Now, you can put olive oil in. I'm going to put rapeseed oil in, about four to five tablespoons in. Now a few food busker twists. I've got some pomegranate seeds. I'm going to put two tablespoons of those in. The same with some pistachio nuts, two tablespoons. And then a good pinch of salt. Blitz the living daylights out of that. Whack it in. And it's got to get plugged in, bear with. OK, just take this out and screw the lid. And then we've got our beautiful harissa paste. <laughs> A little bit of extra oil. And then incorporate. My brothers and sisters, uh, I forgot to add a little bit of cumin powder. So I've just got some here, and I'm just going to sprinkle it now over the chops. Now you need to marinate these guys. Best is overnight, but minimum two hours. OK, so those guys have nicely marinated. They've taken on all that flavour. Now what we're going to do is going to char grill them. So pan on. And then you want it searing hot. Just going to drizzle the pan with just a little bit of rapeseed oil. And then let's get your cutlets in. These guys are lovely, gnarly and cooked. So I'm just going to drop them here so that they can rest. You must let them rest. If you just slice those now, they'll be tough. Let them chill out for at least a minute and a half. They're going to become really juicy. Then we'll serve them up. Yes! Right, people, it's time to plate up. We've got some hummus and some coriander. A little tip, get some smoked paprika and just dust it on the top of your hummus. Let's get our uh, harissa lamb cutlets on top. Put that bad boy there. And then we're going to dress these guys. So a little bit more oil. Pistachio nuts to finish off with. And some pomegranate seeds. OK, culinary happiness personified with harissa lamb cutlets. Let's take them to the street. I'm so excited. Look at look how beautiful. 750, I reckon. Come on, follow me. Come on, come on, come on. Right, OK, come on, come on, come, 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 come. Come, come, boys, boys, come on. Here, this is fine, this is fine. Right, come here, come here. Take one each, come on, come on. Thank you very much. Enjoy, right, mate. <laughs> Thanks. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you look at you, you've done well there. Right, a little bit of this action. Yeah, whack on. A little bit of this. Right, do it. And soft, mate. Juicy and soft? Juicy and soft. 
Delishmeister. Really nice. Yeah. The test, right? Other street traders. Now, what would you pay for three lamb cutlets? I'd say I'll go. I'll go push it to nine pounds. Seven pounds, seven pounds for three then. Oh, shit. I'll go for 750. 750, seven pounds, how much? Seven pounds, shit, lads, no, no, I said 750. What's wrong with these boys? I've had a bit of a winning streak. Still don't feel good to lose though. Flipping 2-1. I thought I was going to smash it. These lamb cutlets are flipping delicious. But what would you have paid? Let me know in the comment box below. I mean, like, folks, this is such a good recipe. You've got to try it. And like, share, pass the word of food busking around on YouTube. And people, subscribe. I'm not, I'm not, just do it. Go on, click on the link. Just get it done.